Welcome back to my channel, everyone. Today is a very, very exciting day on my channel because I'm making a much awaited video of my favorite masks. Hallelujah. I don't think I have the rights to hallelujah, so that was a different one than the famous one. Anyway, um, if you saw my skincare favorites video, I did show one of my favorite masks there. So if you missed that video, I will link it below. But I thought I'd do a little roundup today of all the masks I like that do different things because I use all sorts of different um, treatments based on what my skin's going through. So if I'm traveling or I'm getting off a plane, I like a hydrating mask. If I'm, you know, coming from a shoot where I've worn a lot of makeup or whatever for hours and hours on end, I really like a clarifying mask that's going to be pore minimizing and kind of suck all that dirt and foundation and all that out of there. Um, and then there's, I have a really good option for an acne mask. So around that time of the month, I get a little bit of acne, or if you're starting to feel those kind of under the skin pimples, this mask is great for that. So I'm gonna go through and just share a couple of my faves with you guys. I'm so excited because masking is my one true love. Actually, masking in the bath, that's my one true love. So let's just start off. Um, I'm gonna go with a really great mask for, like this is, this is, this first one is the mask I pack most often when I travel um, because it does a few things. I love a good multitasker um, with skincare. So this Philosophy Purity uh, Made Simple Pore Extractor Mask is unreal. As you can see, I'm very low on it, which stresses me out. Um, but this is an exfoliating clay mask. So clay masks can be a little drying. And so usually when I'm doing a clay mask, I take that into consideration with the rest of my skincare. So if I use a clay mask, something that's pulling and purifying the skin, I wanna follow up with a really rich moisturizer, just an FYI. Um, anyway, back to this mask. So the, um, the claims are that this exfoliates and purifies the skin as well as refines the pores, which it does. It actually makes my skin look smoother, tighter, and it also sloughs off dead skin cells, which who doesn't want that? Um, so how this comes out, this is a mess. I probably should have cleaned this before coming on camera, but it is a, uh, it's a mask that has, um, a clay base. It has salicylic acid, which um, definitely helps with blackheads, breakouts, things like that. It has a little bit of texture to it. So when you put it on, it's not a normal clay mask where it feels kind of smooth. It has these exfoliating beads in it. And the beads are actual like natural, I believe sand or something like that. But you put it on and you let it dry. And so at first you're not getting the exfoliation. At first you're getting the clay properties of removing, you know, the crap underneath your skin. So after that dries, what's amazing is when you're washing it off with warm water, those, that sand in there is activated. So you're then using the exfoliation part of it, which is so bomb. I'm like, I don't have to bring a scrub and a, mat, a clay mask. I can just bring one thing. Amazing. So highly recommend this philosophy product. I'm gonna wipe off my finger because it has a clay mask all over it. Okay, moving on. So a great hydrating mask that I really love and that I've been using for a long time is this Dermalogica mask. Hope you guys can see that. It is the multivitamin power recovery mask. Um, and I actually tried this on a whim. Uh, Dermalogic had sent me a bunch of masks to try, and this was by far my favorite one. It's a really hydrating mask that really feels like it puts back into your skin all the stuff that's been kind of stripped away by either, you know, cleanser or weather or whatever it is. So this is my most favorite mask after a plane ride. So as soon as I get off the plane and get to my hotel room, I immediately treat my skin with this mask. Um, the claims are uh, that this ultra replenishing mask helps rescue aging skin. Aging, 
not old. Um, it's powerful concentrated vitamins A, C, E, and F help skin recover from damage that it leads to aging while enhancing barrier properties. I really love this as part of my skincare routine and my masking routine. It's a great hydrator. All right, next. Let's move on to this Juice Beauty mask. So Juice Beauty is all natural. Um, they're a great brand. I like natural skincare and natural makeup when it does its job. I don't use all natural skincare or all natural makeup for the sake of using it. Um, I use what works and if what works is natural, that's great. And I would obviously prefer that, but um, this is one of these natural products that actually really does work on the skin. This is their anti-wrinkle uh, mask. It is called the Stem Cellular Anti-Wrinkle Replenishing Mask. I really like this. It really feels like it promotes cell turnover on your face. It does actually make me feel like it's really retexturizing my skin on the top layer. Um, there is a little bit of burn to this one. Um, so if you're sensitive, I would be careful with this, although my skin's been fine with it. Um, and sometimes I think if it burns a little bit, it's like working. <laughs> Is that weird? Um, it also leaves the skin a tiny bit red, so I never use this before a shoot or before I have to leave for somewhere. It's just about 10 minutes that your skin is a little red or irritated, but to me, it's 10 minutes. I'm usually not like ready to head out the door anyway. So this is a great option for a resurfacing mask for wrinkles. Next, I'm gonna blow through these really quickly. This mask is by the company called Black. It's an Australian company. And this is a charcoal mask. But what's great about it is it's a peel mask. I love peel masks. They are my favorite. The feeling of pulling that sheet off your skin, ah, there's nothing better than that. So here's the mask here. You guys can see it's a pretty small bottle, but it does last quite a, quite a while. Um, what's crazy about this mask, I still have this one swatched on my hand, but as I put it on, you'll see it comes out looking like an oil spill. Um, but look at this mask as I rub it on. So it dries down looking exactly that. Your face looks like it has a like a latex mask on it. It's crazy. I love the feeling of pulling it off. You're pulling out those impurities that the charcoal's attached itself to. It's, it's a great mask. You know, to be honest with this one, um, you know, have I seen my skin like revolutionary chain, revolutionarily change from it? It's a good mask and it has properties that are helpful to skin, but I think it is so fun. It's, to me, like taking that 10 minutes out to mask is, is like the most enjoyable activity in and of itself, whether your skin is totally changed afterwards or not. It's really nice to sit and not talk for 15 minutes, right? So this, I just, it's just really fun to put on. It's really fun to take off. It brings me enjoyment, and I think it does something good for my skin, hopefully. But if not, it's still worth it. Um, so the, I have two last ones. So I'll share this um, beautifully packaged mask first. So this is by Tarte. Um, it is their uh, tight and bright clay multi-mask. And so what I really like about this mask in particular is this is great for travel. Even though the package is a little bit big, I'll show you. I keep, I always keep these plastic things on. Do people keep those on? I don't know. I never know if I should or not, but I just do. Um, but here is this mask. So how crazy does it look, first of all? So one side is an exfoliating clay mask, which is this light purple side. But then this side is a moisturizing mask and it's so pretty. That gold, hello. Let me just put a little bit on my hand because we're here and I have so much other stuff on my hand, it doesn't even matter anymore. So you can see that really pretty gold mask there, so nice. So what's great about this one is that you have not only something that is gonna purify your skin, but also moisturize. So when you're, when I'm going away um, on a trip and I wanna bring two kinds of masks, 
hello. This is super helpful. I usually, with this one, put the purifying um, elements, so the clay mask on my T-zone, where I'm more oily and where I have more breakouts and blackheads. And then I put the gold mask anywhere I need hydration. I get really dry in my cheeks um, and my neck area and around my, the tip of my nose, I get a little dry in the winter. So I just put the, put the gold mask in those spots where I need hydration, put the clay mask in other spots where I need that, that purifying. And it's like, hello, dream combo. So this is a great option if you're looking to buy one product and get a little more bang for your buck. So last but not least, I wanted to talk about the Sunday Riley. It's the Sunday Riley Saturn Sulfur Acne Treatment Mask. So this is um, a 10% sulfur mask, it's medicated, and as it's drying, it says it clears up acne while preventing new blemishes from forming. Um, I really love this mask. I feel that I don't struggle with acne all the time, but when I do, it's always right before a shoot or right before an important event or something, and I'm like freaking out, and I need to have my skin clear in quick order. So this mask really knocks it out of the park, and I've used this a couple times when I've had some like premature breakouts and they just have gone away, which like, ah, prayer hands emoji, so good. Um, so it says it has tea tree oil, um, manuka oil, what else, zinc, bentonite clay, all these different things. So this is a great acne mask if you struggle with breakouts, whether those be regular breakouts or more like me, just breakouts once in a while. It's a great mask to have on hand for those emergency moments. Thank you guys so much for watching this fun video. I had a lot, a lot of fun making it. And just being able to talk about something that makes me so happy and really adds something like joyful and peaceful to my life, I was really happy to be able to tell you guys about all these products. If you have any questions about any of the masks, I will link them all below. So if you need to go find them, they'll be there. But if you have any specific questions about skincare or beauty or, you know, a cheating boyfriend, leave them in the comments. Um, and I'll try to help you as much as I can. Thank you guys for watching. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, what the hell are you doing? Just kidding, but you should subscribe. And if you would like and comment on this video, tell me what you liked, what you don't like, what you wanna see, leave me a heart emoji. Mm. All right, guys, I'm gonna go wash this off my hand. Um, or maybe I'll leave it on. It kind of looks, kind of looks a little chic. Anyway, gotta go. This video's gone on too long. Bye, guys. See you later.